So let's continue driving and uh, I am going to take you along on Harbor Boulevard going to this land or practically passing this land on Harbor Boulevard and uh, just pick up the book that I needed or that I requested. It's a good book. I will show you later on uh, a picture of the book that I am, that I just picked up. But let me give you the title of it. It's uh, One Minute Out but by Mark uh, Greeny, and it's a really good book. And if you like military kind of uh, type of books, uh, suspense books and such. I love this kind of book, but later on, later on, I will describe in more detail why I like this author or this writer. He's really good, and I have read most of his uh, books since he started. The previous version or the previous book from this writer, I, I didn't really enjoy it as much as he goes into more of history and stuff like that so I did not enjoy his book I practically it's one of the the, the first books uh, that I have uh, put aside that I did not even finish reading it but anyway let's talk about where I am going or where I am practically driving this is Harbor Boulevard the city is take you five to ten minutes to get or 15 minutes to get to the entrance of this land and, um, right here it's a Carolina that's an Italian restaurant on the right that's Ramada as well and this one Frontier Hotel a small little hotel Harbor Anaheim Harbor RV Park I didn't know that it was there but anyway you have another hotel right here you have a uh, Shell gas station, another hotel on your right, on the left you have a Chevron station, and uh, right here on the bridge, it's practically, it's uh, we are going over the five freeway. Uh, if you wanted to go to LA, you will, you will go on the, you will take the north, uh, five freeway north, and if you wanted to go to San or something like that, you will take the south uh, direction of the five freeway. So, on your right, where you see all of the trees, that's this land, that's practically the back of uh, this land, and on the left, there's tons of hotels as well. There is the courtyard Marriott, and then if, there is Mimi's Cafe where you can get food. There is tons of hotels on the left as well and uh, I don't know if you can or if you see the fence that is in the middle of the of the street and practically a lot of people used to just uh, jaywalk to in order to get to this land but there uh, most likely there were probably accidents and that's why they put the fence in the middle of the street so people don't jaywalk and uh, that they practically come all the way to the street and that's use the crosswalk and uh, 
So right here is the Disneyland entrance for shadows for buses and uh, a little bit after uh, after I pass the, this light on the right that that is where your Uber your Lyft driver will drop you off and uh, and taxis as well and practically let's say if you have a friend that you're dropping off that's a good place to drop people off since the ma main entrance it's right here on the right as uh, you can see the buses drop there practically uh, going to drop people off those buses they are picking up people at hotels and I believe that now you have to pay f to use those buses and a lot of people what instead of waiting for the shuttle bus what they do they just request an Uber and or Lyft since it's going to be faster for you to get to this land and such and uh, so a lot of these hotels on the left that they have been remodeled they are uh, and some of those have changed uh, names as well Here on the left, uh, on this Grand Legacy Park uh, uh, Hotel, on the top floor, or practically on the roof, there is a restaurant that you can come in and uh, get something to eat, get something to drink, and uh, at the night when Disneyland has the fireworks, you can watch the fireworks at this uh, restaurant that's the only restaurant that i know that it's on, on the roof of any of these places uh, i haven't seen any other restaurant that is on the, on the roof around here and, uh, but anyway on the left you see castle suites and then at the empty space here uh this and i was going to build the bridge so people can park way back over there and that, that they can use a monorail or a little train in order for them to just practically park and then use the monorail or the train in order for them to get into this land so this hotel on the right the spring hill suites probably has been it's by Marriott probably has been there I would say five to ten years this this uh, hotel wasn't there way back in the days the Hyatt house on the left uh, the Walgreens stories on the first floor that it's probably again another five to ten years old it hasn't been there that long and uh, I just on the left as well uh, you cannot see it but it's the Wyndham Hotel as well and uh, that wasn't there prior again probably has been there in the last five ten years or so before this Hyatt house on the left and then the Wyndham there used to be a small hotels they were a lot of them there they were run down in the, uh, but uh, this big chains they started to buy them and uh, make them into into bigger hotels and the Sheraton on the right if that has been there forever this red lion that I just passed on my left I think it used to be I don't remember the name of it but it used to be something else and uh, right here on the left where you see the trees that used to be a, a strawberry field and uh, it's now a parking lot for these non-employees and, uh, and practically people trying to park their cars and, uh, the, the, the strawberry field used to be all the way over here to the best western or before this the home suites used to, it's new on the right the courtyard married and there's a Ruth Christie 
restaurants and this hotel so I guess they haven't been there forever. Uh, they probably they are 15 years old or so. Now I am going away from Disneyland and I am going to go back home and practically uh, I am going to make a ride on Chanman, uh, I was trying to get into right lane, but the lady cut me off. But you know, it is what it is. So, so this hotel is right here. Uh, you can stay here, and like I said before, you can just use uh, Uber or Lyft and it's gonna take probably five minutes to get there and the well depending on traffic because Disneyland opens at nine o'clock but I believe if you have uh, another a uh, pass I don't remember or know how many passes they have but I believe that they have some special passes that you can go there earlier and you can get into uh, rides but anyway uh, I just passed the Hyatt hotel on the right this one it's a Nova restaurant that that restaurant probably has been there less than a year or so on the right right here there are some apartments on the left there are more apartments as well and uh, if you remember video or the video that I recorded earlier that I was making a left on West uh, Street well this is where I made the left on your uh, your screen it's pretty much kind of going or if I was to go back where I went I would make a right right here but as you can see this Lexus is making a left on this street that's what I did earlier so this is street that I am traveling it's a Chairman Boulevard several cities just gonna try to get to the right or left my mistake right here these are practically residences houses where people live 
show you a little bit more of a city that that is Garden Grove. Is practically that you see in the right and left that they are some our church businesses uh, houses and uh, if you are coming to this land and want to get close at a good deal uh, just on the corner of Brookhurst and Chaman right here practically in the shopping center that There's a Marshalls store and that uh, you get good uh, quality clothes, shoes and whatnot at a cheaper price and uh, they get their merchandise from uh, big stores and uh, the stuff that doesn't sell they, they come to the Marshall stores That's practically the reason that you get them probably 50% off. And, uh, so that's a good place to go. There is also a Ross store as well. It's practically the same thing as Marshalls. If you need something from Walmart, there's a Walmart. Uh, practically you will need to keep going a little bit longer to get to Walmart in a couple of minutes driving. So these stores, they are practically on the corner of Brookers Boulevard in Chapman, in the city of Garden Grove. Most of the time when I am going go practically uh, going home, I make a left on Northwood, um, the street that I mentioned earlier, because this this light right here takes forever to turn green, and, uh, and uh, you know only about four or five cars were able to make a left, and then another car just made a left as well. There are businesses there, but the other building next to it on the right, they are they are uh, apartments, they are condominiums and such. They are very new as well. They are probably about a year or so old. Uh, maybe it has been a year or six months since they completed everything and. I do not know if they are uh, condominiums that you can buy or that you can rent, but they are still trying to... They are not 100% full. Uh, that's why you see those flags, the red, the red, uh, the red flags. And, uh, 
most likely that they are either renting them very expensive or selling them very expensive I don't know but again they are practically brand new that's a brand new building Anyway, I am going to stop at this for today.